beautiful. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, Father God, in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, Father God, in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, Father God, in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, Father God, in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before We worship you. I worship you. I worship you. The Spirit of the Lord. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. The Spirit of the Lord. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and Ephado, even in Jezebel before you. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. Even in Jasper before you. What a mighty God we serve. In Jesus Christ's most wonderful name. Almighty God of heaven and air and waters and dry land. We acknowledge your most wisdom and your awesome presence in my life here in this place. Here in Salendron, California, United States. And in the lives of all your people all over the world, all over the earth, wherever they are, watching and listening to us, my Lord and my God, I give you all the praise for blessing all our day. My Lord and my God, thank you for uh, giving us divine direction in the year 2021. Oh Lord, my God, your prophecies are coming to establish in our lives that this year is going to be a year of uh, uh, outpouring of your spirit, uh, your special year, and uh, a year of excellence. Oh Lord, we are beginning to witness it because your word is uh, uh, is uh, powerful, your word is mighty. Uh, even an edge shall pass away according to Mark chapter 13, verse 31, but your way shall not pass away in John chapter 1, verse 5. It is written that the light shines in darkness, but darkness comprehends it not. All your children all over the world today, we add your light, and we will always shine and to resist the evil and the works of the devil, even the operations of the antichrist we will resist them because you have given us the power to shine we are the light that shines in darkness your light is shining upon us and darkness we comprehend it not O oh lord my god from the beginning of the world and the beginning of the earth to the end of the earth from the four corners of the earth and from the four winds of heavens i worship you i praise you i exalt you i give you honor and adoration i join the seven spirits all over the earth you send from heaven to be on earth to worship you in the highest i join the four living creations that sit, that sit around the throne and the two or four elders that sit before your throne, bowing down before you day and night, worshiping you, saying, Holy, 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 to worship you, to exalt you, to give you honor and adoration, to bow down before you and to thank you in the highest. Oh God, as I'm going to uh, speak to or uh, share your word, Lord, I decrease that you might increase to the highest level. Increase and multiply your grace, O oh God, upon my life to the highest level and to the maximum point that I may speak the word which is the most indisputable word and the most effective and arrive and excellent word that everyone 
O Lord my God, that share your word with me, we never remain the same, but will increase and receive the spirit of excellence as I'm going to minister on the part two of uh, the keys, nine keys to attract you to do great and greater things in someone's life, in people's life, and to be with them. Oh God, I am deliberating on the part two of this message. Lord, I ask that you release the key into the life of the people that this year, 2021, your people will begin it with divine appreciation. And as they start or begin this year with divine appreciation, you will give them a clear sound direction and they will run without fail. They will run without fear, and you will supply unto them every provision, every capacity, every wisdom they need to run this year. That this year will not run any one who trusts in you, who believes in you, but they will run this year and they will overcome obstacles and challenges and circumstances. And they will prevail as your spirit will come upon them and they will, they will prevail and to be accomplished, to be established and to be fulfilled in every area and work and aspect of life to your glory and to the shame of the wicked in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Almighty God of heaven and earth and waters and dry land, for you have answered in Jesus Christ's name. My name is Ushena Ezanwa. I'm the apostle and the or senior uh, pastor, or general superintendent of Jesus Kingdom Church of All Nations uh, uh, branches. Uh, in Okota 15 of Fokiro Street by Second Container, Ago Palace, Way, Okota Lagos, Nigeria. And uh, we are also in Anambra State, Indiogu, Muamuli, and other places. And currently, um, I am in Salendra, California, United States. I am ministering to uh, uh, ministering to you through the word of God which I titled the message nine keys to attract God to do great and greater things in your life and also attract God to be with you God will be with you when you apply this key and he will also be rotting great and greater things in your life. I quite understand that great and greater and greatest are not same. Greater is bigger than great, great and greatest is bigger than the greater. But I, uh, through the experience I had uh, all the time I apply these keys, it has been working for me through the word of God. The Lord has been rotting and my mighty and great things, greater things in my life and in the lives of other people. And as you're going to harness this key, last time, the first time I deliberated on the part two, part one of the message, the praises on praises as the key, one of the nine keys to attract God to do great and greater things in your life and to be with you. If you want God to be with you and to do great and greater things in your life, you should harness the key of worship. The key of worship. What is worship? Worship is the feeling or expression of reverence and the adoration for a deity. Worship is the feeling or expression of reverence and the adoration for a deity. The worship of God. Worship is the feeling or expression of reverence and the adoration for a deity. It is the worship of God. When you are worshiping God, you are honoring him, you are reverencing him, you are expressing reverence and adoration to him. Praise the Lord. And all the people who have harnessed this key are 
for assurance of excellence. They have assurance of excellent progress and success because God cannot afford to see his word and promise is a felon. I tell people that any area they are falling in life, there is a key they are missing or a counsel or a step. The moment they find that key, which they miss in life, there will be a remedy, they will have divine direction, there will be a resolution, and they will begin to find success in that area they are falling or the area they are having difficulties. There is a key. Anybody that is finding difficulty in any area of life, there is a key that that person has not found or that has not applied. When the person begins to apply that key, I tell you, God is not a God of confusion. God is a God of peace in the churches of the saints. In Psalm 37, verse 5, it says, uh, it, it says, commit your way to the Lord. Also trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. Have you committed the year 2021 into the hand of the Lord? Have you committed the, your, your, your proposal for the year 2021 into the hand of the Lord? Your business, your career, your purpose, your ministry, your marriage, your family, have you committed them to the Lord? And you will see that as you trust in him, he will bring them to pass. How do I mean? He will bring it to pass. He will establish them. He will accomplish his beautiful, marvelous promises. And he will bring them to fulfillment. God cannot afford to fail his promises. It is people's weaknesses that bring failure to God's promises. God does not fail. And his word cannot fail. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but his ways shall not pass away. Let's go through John chapter 4 from verse, uh, from verse 19. I read, The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. 20. Our fathers worship on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem, in the in the place where one ought to worship, 21, Jesus says to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this morning nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. 22, you worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. 23, but the hour is coming, and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship him. 24, God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and the truth. Those who worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Jesus gave us teachings on how to present worship through worship to God, our Creator, our eternal Father. He says that those people that worship, that want to worship the living God, their Creator, they ought to worship Him in spirit and, and in truth. They must worship Him in spirit and in truth. John chapter 4, verse 24, on the line. If you want to know whom you worship and what to worship, you must worship the true living God and worship him in spirit and in truth. A worship, worship God in spirit and in truth. If you want to know whom you are worshiping and what you worship, you should worship God in spirit and in truth. There are a lot of benefits when you worship God from the depth of your heart, in spirit and in truth. I am a living testimony and a witness today. This key does not fail. Yesterday, I deliberated on, on praises. Praises is one of the vital key to attract God to do great and greater things in your life and be with you. There are so many scriptures from Genesis to Revelation that bear record of praises. 
as of the apostle chapter 16 verse 25 also bear record of praises where the two powerful ministers of god were kept in bondage over 90 they sang praises to god and god came down praises a trust god praises a trust god invites god if you want god to be with you form the habit of praises praising him all the time always from the don't do not praise god only when you are happy make it make it a part of your lifestyle to worship god now i am speaking teaching on the key the 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 second key of the nine keys to attract and to uh, to attract God to do great and mighty things, to do great and greater things in your life and be with you is worship. Worship. God cannot keep away his face from anybody who is worshiping him in spirit and in truth. God can never. Even when you forget, when you do not know where you are going to, God will appear to you. Praise the Lord. God appears to you. God reveals secrets to you. When you are worshiping him, when you make worship, a worship part of your life, when you make worship part of your life, God appears to you, God appears to you and reveal to you great and mighty secret things. 33 verse 3, Jeremiah says, Call unto me, and I will show you great and mighty things which you have not known. The relevant way to call upon God is praises or worship. I am speaking teaching on key number two, to attract God, to do great and greater things in your life. You want to see great and greater things in your life. You have no job. You have no business. But you have hope and you have trust in God. And you obey his word, which I'm sharing with you. You harness it. You harness it. The word which I'm sharing with you. The word which I'm sharing with you. You harness it. You harness the word which I'm sharing with you. And by this wisdom of worshiping God, worshiping God, enemy will not want you to worship God. He will make your voice very difficult. He will make your heart very difficult. He will try to block your heart. Enemy will try to make your heart very heavy so that you will not find pleasure in worshiping God. But by the time you do it by faith and by the spirit, the devil will know that you are wise. The devil will know you, are, you have the knowledge of the scripture and he will keep away from you. The devil comes into people's life to suppress them, to oppress them. When he sees that they lack the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of the word of God. This is why Hosea lamented that his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Had it been they have the knowledge, they receive the word of God with obedient heart. He says they would have not perished. They would have been blessed and be saved. Worship. Adopt worship today. Worship with your tongue, with the song, with the song, worship God with the song, worship God with your heart, worship God with your tongue, worship God with your mouth, worship God with your hands, lift up your hands and worship God. 12, 12 of Hebrews say the hands and the knees that are feeble be lifted, be lifted, be lifted. And Jesus taught this woman that those that worship the Father should worship him in spirit and in truth. On the line, the custody and the condition to worship God relevantly in an excellent way to 
capture the true worship of God is to worship him in spirit and in truth. Underline these two conditions. Two key, two custodian to worship God in spirit and in truth. To worship God in spirit and in truth. Yesterday we taught, uh, taught on praises. Praises and worship are divine appreciation. This divine appreciation is a key. When you appreciate God, God will move in a most powerful way. When you appreciate God, you are, you are, you are gingering God to move in a most powerful way. This is the key that so many people are lacking today. There is a divine appreciation. Divine appreciation is the first key. Then point A is praises. Point B is worship. And we are seeing John chapter 2, 4, verse 20 through 25. On that divine appreciation. Learn how to appreciate God. Don't let anybody to confuse you. This is working. These keys are working. These are the word of God. A lot of us have Bible with us, but we need someone to sharpen us. We need someone to ginger us. We need someone to quicken us. To understand, to harness the revelations in the word. This is why the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, and he gave some apostles. It doesn't matter how educated you are, how rich you are, how financially rich you are. If God does not make you an apostle, a prophet, a teacher, an evangelist, you can't do the work. There's nothing like it. I get I I I I attended the 20 universities. It, it it has nothing to do with the work of the ministry. The ministry of edu the education of the ministry is different from the secular education. This is why so many people dumble into ministry today and they fail. You must have the grace. You must have the calling. There's nothing like his school, his ministry is booming because his school in Harvard or in Oxford University. It has nothing to do with the calling of the Holy Spirit. First Corinthians chapter 1 talked about nobles. He said that the nobles are dead, but God now selected, he elected, he called the foolish and used the foolish things of the world to do what? To raise the wise. To confirm the wise and the powerful things of the world, to, the weak things of the world, to confirm the mighty. The Holy Spirit has nothing to do. The education of the ministry is different from the secular education. Otherwise, people like Wole Soyinka in Nigeria and people like Dalton Badinuju, the former Anambra State governor, should have been the best the pastors we have all over the world today. Because in Anambra State, presently, Odera is one of the people that have up to two PhDs. He's a pastor. But God forbid, I know that he is not the top pastor in Anambra State. It's, it does not matter how many schools you attended. It's the school of the Holy Spirit that really matters. And so you really need to, you need to harness this worship. The key of worship, you must ask God for the grace. If you succeed in worshiping God with all your heart, in spirit, and in the truth, what is the benefit? God will always visit you. God will always draw closer to you. The grace I have to teach these keys it's not because I went to school, secular school, or my let my father was a principal or a teacher. No, it is because God gave me the calling, as He gave you. Praise the Lord. God have given some apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, and pastor, and He called all of us and gave us different ministries. You need the key of worship. Under divine appreciation. You need the key. Do not say, I don't have it. Do not say, I, I'm not called to worship God. You are called to worship God through the commandment. Ushenezanowai alone is not called to worship God alone. You, wherever you are worshiping me, 
a salient through California, United States. Wherever you are watching me from Isheri, Isheri, or, 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 or more sure, wherever you are watching me from Isheri, Bokuno, Agokota, Lagos, Nigeria, any part of Lagos, Nigeria, any part of Okota, any part of uh, um, Cameroon, Australia, Europe, Asia, African countries. I, I'm telling you, maybe you don't have this gift. You don't have this grace. I am imparting you today with the grace and with the, with the, with the key of worship under divine appreciation. I tell you that devil is a thief. He will tell you that you don't have the calling. You should forget about what this man is saying. But this is what I do. I do not apply the word of God because my mouth or my heart or my, my hand likes it. In some cases, I apply the word of God because the situation and the present hour, the situation and the condition where I meet myself needs, deserves the word. Whereas that I have to apply the word. I'm not applying the word because I like it. It is because it's an instruction that I should apply the word when necessary so that I will get, receive possibilities in the place of difficulties. If you fail to apply the word of God where it is supposed to, uh, to apply, you fail. Apply the word of God. What do you do? Ask yourself. Any area you come across or level or point you come across in life and things you want to go zigzag or want to go confusing, ask God and say, which word am I going to apply? Which key? Start praises. If praises fail, worship song or with your tongue cannot fail. I'm still coming with other keys. But we are still under divine appreciation, praises and worship. Point A is praises. Point B is worship. Receive the grace wherever you are now. Receive this key to worship God. I repeat, most step I take in life, I do not take it because it is pleasant or it is convenient for me. I take those steps because, because I had a command, instruction from God through the word of God says, I should take this step. The Bible says that we should walk by faith and not by sight. This year, 2021, do not sleep. Do not say, I'm doing this thing because my body like it. Make the steps, unusual steps, based on God's instruction, not because you like it, not because it is convenient with you. Most steps I'm taking today are not convenient for me, but afterward, God gives me rest because I have succeeded eventually to apply the word of God. Application of the word of God by faith in the spirit Praise the Lord. God does, God does not honor the people who call upon him, but they don't trust him, they don't love him. God honors his word a lot, more especially when you apply his word by faith. So receive the keys of worship today. All those beautiful, glorious worship gospel songs. Make it a point of duty. Are you getting me? Take note. You will see excellence. You will do e excellent this year because you are going to be walking in excellence. You are receiving the spirit of excellence already. I asked God a few, few hours ago, I said, how are we going to take off this year? The spirit of the Lord expressly ministered to me that he spoke to me some months ago that this year is going to be a year of outpouring of God's spirit, a special year of the Lord and the year of excellence. But we have to take off with divine appreciation. I said, how? He said, we have to begin to honor God. We have to begin to appreciate God, reference God for who he is, for 
all his beautiful and excellent plans for us this year and the ones he has done, we should not forget to thank God through for last year, 2020. You and I are alive. That's why we're able to do one to, to come across to enter the year 2021. We must appreciate God. We must appreciate God, good or bad. We must appreciate God. The greatest prayer that moves God is the prayer of appreciation. Praise the Lord. Worship. And the Lord bless you. Truth is very bitter to those who don't want to accept it. This is my experience in life. Any man or woman who has the truth is bitter to them. But no matter how bitter the truth is to you, try to accept it because there is something I'm sharing with us that most steps I take in life are not convenient for me. But because the Lord said, if you make this step, it will be well with you. You will see victory. You will see success. You will enter into rest. This is why I'm making the steps I'm making today. If you're close to me, if you know me, it's not convenient for me. Praise the name of the Lord. But I know that there is no good cause without a price. So pay the price of harnessing the keys of worship today. Along the line where you are driving, where you are going to work, when you dismiss from work, when you go into your store, going for your business meeting, coming back from your store, your shop, your office, when you have a meeting with your family, before you start the meeting, you attend the King's Men meeting or association meeting or church meeting, appreciate God with worship and you will see wonders you will see great and mighty things you will see blessings you will see interventions you will not beg for interventions you will not wonder to look for help and defend that God will always appear to you to reveal to you secrets to revive verse 14 Psalm that the secret of the Lord is with those that fear him and he will show them his covenant. Those that fear God, the secret of the Lord is with them. The people that worship God in spirit and in truth. Praise the name of the Lord. And so study John chapter 4, verse 21 through 24. Take note of it. Take note of it. Worship. Make it a habit. Not the day you buy a new car that you will worship God. You will praise God. No, don't wait until you finish building your house. Before you lay the foundation of that house, take, bring up time, spare time to worship God. Before you go to market to do your shopping, spare time to worship God. Before you start going to your work, when you are going to your work, spare time, be worshiping God. I know sometimes you strive with your mind when you are trying to concentrate in the steering or you are trekking or you are inside a bus or a commercial car your store or, or your office but God demands your worship praise the Lord let's look at Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1 Jesus Christ says in John 8 32 you shall know the truth if you don't know it you have to search for the truth you have to, it is a time I will begin to speak to people and, and share my experiences with people through the word of God and from the in the years of my wilderness in the ministry so that they will know that God is honest and God is most faithful. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. Isaiah 25 verse 1. O oh Lord, you are my God. I will exhort you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. This is worship. Try to meditate and study Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. It is worship. Isaiah was teaching us on how to worship God here. O oh Lord, you are my God. I will exhort you. I will exhort you. I will praise your name for you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. 
you are making expressions. You express, you are, you are expressing feel your feelings, expressions, making expressions, feelings, and uh, of reverence and adoration to the Almighty God. Why can't He be moved? When He sees your heart that you are doing it with all your heart, He must move. If there is no need for Him to move in your life that hour, then I tell you the truth. Anytime there is a need for God to move in your life, you are not going to beg. You are not going to struggle to call upon God. You will not pray a prayer that he will not answer. If the moment you expect, you, you, you feel in your heart that, oh, God should come and assist me, you see God. Because already you have adapted worship as a lifestyle. Praise the Lord. Take, remember, adopt worship as a life, part of your lifestyle. The first key I release on that divine appreciation is point number A, praises. Point number B is what we are teaching now. Exodus 23, verse 25. Exodus 23, verse 25. Exodus 23, verse 25. So you shall serve the Lord your God. And he will bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. You will serve the Lord your God. He's telling you to worship, service. When you are serving God, you are worshiping God. You are praising God because along the line, there's a place where you are demanded to praise him. To praise him, to honor him. Along the line, there's a, where, a place where you are demanded to do what? And to worship the Lord. So you shall serve the Lord your God. So you shall worship the Lord your God. And he will bless your bread and your water. When you worship God, God will bless your marriage. He will bless your business. He will bless your ministry. He will bless your sons and daughters. He will bless your health. He will bless your life. He will bless your finances. It will not be wasted. He will bless your movement. He will bless your labor. Your labor will not be in vain. He will bless your your runnings. He will bless your speech. He will bless everything about your life. And the Bible said, and he will take away sickness away from the midst of you. Because you did what? You worship him. Make it a habit. Be fond of worshiping God before men and women in the secret, before principalities and rulers of the darkness. Do not be afraid of anybody, anything to worship the Lord. In the, day, in the time of need, you will not pray too long. You will not beg God to come. You will not struggle to call upon God. The sky, the cloud will not block your prayer because you are identified in the family of God. You are, you are, you are a member and the citizen of the kingdom. Praise the Lord. The moment you make a sound, heaven will hear you. Because they know you when you are not in trouble. You identify with them. You reverence them. You reverence him when you are not in trouble. Why wouldn't he answer you when you are in trouble? In the time of pleasure, he will send armies, his angels, to protect you with his spiritual guns and ammunition and weapons. Why? Because you give him reference. He does not ask you for reference, but you give him reference time without number. You have worship, you worship him, you make worshiping him a part of your lifestyle, and God bless you. Make worshiping God, your creator, a part of your lifestyle. Know whom you are worshiping. Make sure you are worshiping your creator. Jesus Christ said to that woman, you worship, you do not know whom you worship. Do not follow a man as a pastor because he has money. Follow that man because he is called into the fivefold ministry as a pastor, a apostle, or teacher, or evangelist, or a prophet. Not because he, he read in all the universities of the world. It also it, it does not it's not a sign of a call. Not because he has 20 million cars. There are devils today who have five PhDs. There are devils today who have a lot of cars, who have chains or buildings. 
there is a glory that you needed, the glory of the spirit of the living God. That's what you are receiving. Anytime you are worshiping God, a spirit and a truth. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that these people he gave, apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, prophet, pastor, we do the work of the ministry in your life. These people will do the work of the ministry in your life. They will edify you. They will sanctify you, consecrate you as the body of Christ. And they will perfect you to ascend. This is the word of God. It's not my word. I'm not the one who gave them the job. I'm not the one who apportioned them the assignment in Ephesians 4 to F. After he have appointed them, he gave them threefold ministries to do the work of the ministry in your life. That's what we're doing now to defy you as the body of Christ to perfect you to become a saint. You see a sinner and along the line, a man, a woman that is known as a deadly sinner becomes holy and righteous. There's a man that God has used to polish, to polish, to brush up and to polish that man. There's nothing like it's, it, it's impossible. How can somebody say he, he made he God use him to make somebody a saint? They are everywhere. God has used so many men today to turn many people to saint through the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So thank God that you are harnessing, you receive the key of worship today. And when you worship, you will know who you worship, what to worship. You will worship in spirit and the truth. And you will worship Abba Father God. You will not worship Ushenez and Hawaii. You will not worship your ancestors. You will not worship your father, your political mother. No. You will not worship your pastor. But you will respect him, give him his honor as, an, as a minister of God. You will not worship anybody, but you, your worship will go to the Almighty God, Almighty God. Your worship goes to the Almighty God. If you want to receive intervention, defense, you want God, you want to build friendship with God, a lasting relationship with God. Make sure that your worship commence with faith by faith. Make sure you are worshiping God by faith and in the spirit. So that enemy will not hijack your worship and the Lord bless you. Take note of Psalm 150 verse 6. Psalm 150 verse 6. As we round up on divine appreciation key. Nine keys to attract God to do great and greater things in your life and be with you. We are we are in point number one, divine appreciation. Under, on, 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 under divine appreciation, we have point A, which is praises. We have treated it, and we are, now on, we are now on point B, which is worship. Worship. Worship can change your life and turns you to refine your life to be young every time. Worship makes you to look very younger. Worship in spirit and the truth. Psalm 150 verse 6. Take note. Psalm 150 verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise and the worship goes together. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Do you want a zeal this year, 2021? My friend, pastor, man of God, apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, deacon, deaconess, elder, brother, sister, my friend. You want a zeal this year, 2021? You want to experience turnaround? in your business, in your marriage, in your family. You want to see development, progress, and success in your life. You want to retrieve the unity that is lost in your family. You want to see progress and favor in your life. Make worship a habit, a part of your lifestyle from today. Worship. If you don't know what worship is, go into dictionaries. 
and search and get more meanings, definitions of worship. It is a feeling or expression of reverence and adoration for a deity. Worship. Learn how to worship your creator. Many people have, 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 have bothered God, have disturbed God with asking, 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 asking. Every minute, every chance or prayers goes on mainly on asking. They do not bring our time to appreciate God. The greatest prayers that we will start this year, program this year, 2021, is a program of divine appreciation. Appreciating God. Honoring God, referencing God from our heart with our tongue. Um, in spirit and in truth. Rendering praises and worship song to the Almighty God. Praise the Lord. He said, let everything praise the Lord. As 16 verse 25, Paul and Silas, they worship God, go through us of the apostles, as of the apostles, as of the apostles, verse chapter 16, verse 25. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Singing hymns on the line. They were worshipping the Lord. Paul and Silas were worshipping the Lord. They did not only pray. They, were, they worshipped the Lord. They, they were worshipping the Lord. And the prisoners were listening to them. What happened? What's the next thing? What was the experience? Verse 26. Suddenly there was a great earthquake. Something began to happen. Do you want something tangible to happen in your life this year? Do you want mighty shares of poverty and hardship and ignorance and difficulties and impossibilities and barrenness and unmarriage, unsuccessful, unsuccessfulness, rising and falling, death and sicknesses to break into pieces and grind into powder in your life and in your family today. From today, go into worship. Go into worship, effective worship. Develop the spirit of effective worship. Make it a lifestyle. Don't only sing when you cook a sweet soup. No. Make it a lifestyle. Take worship as an instruction. See it as a command from God. I'm going to speak on how to become, achieve holiness, accomplish holiness. These are the things you do and the Lord will sanctify you and you will be accomplished. The word of God will be accomplished in your life. It's not difficult. It is not impossible. But I know you start paying the price when you are building the habit, when you are building, building the key, when you, are, uh, when you are applying the key. It will seem to be very difficult, but you will rejoice very, very soon. Hear me. The goings that look very difficult, the mountains that are ahead of you, you, some of you are asking, how am I going to start this year? Where will I start? Who am I going to run to? Run to the Almighty God. Go to the church. Bring out your heart. Worship the Lord. And also make sure you are serving in the church where you are worshiping. Make sure you are serving. My friend, make sure you are serving, no matter how big, how rich you think you are. How beautiful and handsome you think you are. Make sure you humble yourself this year. It's a key. Worship the Lord with all your heart. And you will see the Most High God in action. In a very short time, at the, first, the end of the first quarter of the year, 2021, you will be the first among the first. Let me hear you say, I want to be the first among the first. How? It's not magic. You are going to experience miracles that are more than magic. Blessings and favor that are more than magic. How? By taking note and starting a song, a dance today. A program of worshiping God. Combine it with the praises. We treated the first time under divine appreciation. The first key, the third key is thanksgiving. 
The fourth key under divine appreciation is sacrificial offering. We are coming there. But I'm going to stop any moment from now. On worship. Worship key under divine appreciation. Point A. Div, sorry, point B. We treated point A, which is praises. Point B is what we are treating now. And I'm summarizing. Gather every creatures of worship in your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Take it as a point of duty. Don't throw away. Don't ignore the program of worship. When you go to church, join the people to worship the Lord with all your heart. Close your eyes if you will face distraction. These days, people don't close their eyes again in the church. You can only leave your eyes open when you know that you cannot be distracted. But if you know that you, can, you will be distracted, close your eyes. Nobody will come and kill you in the church. As you worship God in spirit and in truth, do it in spirit and in the truth, and you will see the move of God. You want to see the move of God in your life this year. I am speaking to you from the apostolic, heavenly kingdom, global ministry. And what I'm telling you, the keys I'm releasing to you, is the keys that will work. It must work. There's nothing like, it's not a borrowing teaching. It must work. Ask me one million times, and I will tell you that the key of worshiping God in spirit and in truth with your tongue see it as a command not when you are happy any damn happy i worship god no take it as a command an instruction you can wake up in your from your bed at the midnight and spend two hours worshiping god then i did not say you should not pray and I, I did not say you should not ask god what you want no i didn't say that I didn't say you should not ask God for any big or small thing you want. You should you have right to ask God whatever you want. But adapt worship song or singing with your mouth, with your heart, with your tongue as a habit. And the Lord bless you. Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 1 to 11, he spread his hand and he worshiped God. In 1 Kings chapter 3 from verse 1, Solomon also worshipped God. He spread the sun and he worshipped God before he started building the house of God. After he finished building the house of God, Solomon spread his hand and prayed. And the Bible said, fire came down. Do you want fire to come down? Do you want a consuming fire to come down to consume that sickness that doctors cannot kill? That problem that no one can solve in your family. Do you want fire? God to solve it. Draw closer to God. Adapt the keys of worshiping God from your heart, with your mouth, by faith, in the spirit. Do it in the spirit. Do it in truth. Be honest. Be faithful when you are worshiping God. My friend, Congratulations in advance. You are going to be the first among the first candidates of excellence this year, 2021. Because we are starting well. Whatever be your pro whatever be your proposal, start your journey with God this year, 2021, with worship. Maybe you don't have you don't have the keys. You are you don't you are not you are not fond of it. Make it now compulsory. Make it a point of duty to be worshiping God from your heart. Try, try to try to spend time, spare time, spend crucial time in the presence of God, worshiping Him, and the Lord will be with you. Paul and Silas they worship the Lord. They sang hymns. They preached. The Bible says Holy Ghost came down. The Lord came down. And the tavern physically chains were breaking, prisons were checking, and chains and and the foundations of the prison were being pulled down. You want the foundation of evil to pull down in your family and generation, foundations of poverty, difficulties, rising and falling, limitations, stagnations, backwardness. You want it to break, you want it to cease. Adapt 
the habit of worshiping God in spirit and in truth. And the Lord be with you. I stopped so far because of our time. And this teachings on the nine keys to attract God to do great and greater things in your life and be with you we continue we continue congratulations my name is Ushenna Ezanwai you can reach us through our USA contact plus one nine zero eight seven five nine three zero eight five or our Nigerian WhatsApp contact plus two three four a zero three four zero four one three three four or our email ask at Jesus Kingdom INTL dot org or our website www dot Jesus Kingdom INTL dot org and the Lord bless you. I pray that you receive the grace, receive the anointing, receive the wisdom, receive the power, receive the key, receive the faith, receive the truth, receive the fire, receive the impact to worship God in spirit and in truth, to raise songs of worship unto the Lord in every condition, every situation and also receive perfect result, and the Lord be with you in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.